looking at a lot of loss in the next year or so. We have 7,000 black ash trees citywide in our parks and on the boulevards. And of those 7,000, we've removed 1,000 this year. We're looking at the 6,000 that are still remaining. And this year we see a lot of deterioration in the ones that weren't assessed for removal last year. So we're looking at between two and 3,000 more removals identified through our canopy assessment likely in July and August. Even with the black ash and the situation we're facing now, there are a lot of trees um, on private property. So that 7,000 count is just the city trees that we have on our inventory in parks and, and on the boulevards in the city. Well, the cottony ash psyllid is an introduced insect and um, it's still not fully known what's at play there because we're seeing a real rapid decline of trees. We know they're feeding on the, the leaves and they have two generations and there's some speculation that they're injecting into the tree something, some type of toxin that may be at play too. But um, generally speaking, we're seeing very rapid from 2015 when we saw the the numbers go up again. We had an infestation back in 2006 that collapsed in 2009, but this time around we're seeing much more decline of the, the trees that are susceptible to this particular insect. That's the black ash, mancana ash, and crosses of those trees like northern treasure and northern gem ash. You know, we have a short summer and we, on the prairies, we've planted all the trees here. We're not a natural forested area, so there's a real care and desire and love of the urban forest by many people in Saskatoon. Yes, nobody wants a dead or dying tree on their front yard. It's an emerging issue and we are doing our best to manage it in the best way we know how and with an eye to the fact that we have another um, invasive insect sort of just around the corner in Winnipeg now, the emerald ash borer that impacts all ash trees. So we're trying to balance what to do with this particular situation with an eye to the future as well.